hi friends welcome to my channel and this is part 4 video in VMware disaster recovery so in this playlist basically we are going to focus on VMware vSphere replication and site site recovery manager which is known as SRM and we are going to configure our, our data center in the same way so we can have a automated or manual disaster recovery when we have a failover for the virtual machine or the data center at the primary site so in first video we have discussed about the introduction of the vSphere replication where we have discussed the use cases of the VMware replication also we have discussed some technical pa uh, technical pa uh, side of the VMware vSphere replication and the second video we have deployed and configured the VMware replication appliance on a both side which is our primary side and the target side so now we have um, we sent us a, we have two ESXi in our both production side we have we got uh, we uh, we sent a server we got VR a VR appliance which is replication appliance at both the side and last video we have configured the replication for our virtual machine which is part 3 for two virtual machines so uh, basically in this video I am going to recover one of the virtual machine from our primary side which is production side to recovery side uh, like uh, we have two virtual machines so I am going to recover one virtual machine and uh, in a target site or a DR site and going to run from that DR site so this is my domain environment which we have configured and using so the first uh, one is uh, my VMware production site where we have a domain controller ISKC server which is providing storage to the our VMware infrastructure and we got uh, a VCSS server, vCenter server appliance which is running on VCSS 7.0 we got two ESXi hosts which is prod ESXi 01 and prod ESXi 02 which is running on VMware uh, ESXi 7.0 and then we have uh, in a source side or the production side we got IN prod VRA01 which is our vCenter replication appliance which is running 8.3 so this is my production site and this is my DR site we have a 2 ESXi host which is running uh, DR ESXi 01 and having uh, ESXi uh, 7 version and we got the VCSC appliance also which is running VCSC 7 and we have deployed so uh, these uh, infrastructure we have deployed and configured in last video and also we have configured the site replication for the virtual machine since last video for the two virtual machines which is win 2k 12 hyphen s1 and s2 so here is those machines so you can see this is my active directory domain controller running active directory and dns role and this is my iskc server basically having iskc connected to my um, um, like esxi host and this is my console machine so I got two ESXi hosts for prod ESXi and prod ESXi 2 and two for the DR so everything I am running on one physical machine uh, so now the thing is we are going to have a if I go here menu and shortcut so we have configured in last video we have configured the site replication so if I go here you can see the details like vSphere replication and same if I go to DR site DR VCSA and go to shortcuts and open site recovery you can see this is here also so the status on primary site it's uh, saying IN VCSA 01 vector dot land and vSphere replication is ok so I'm going to open the site replication so this is going to open on appliance page and here you can see uh, vSphere replication so we having two outgoing replication which we have configured in last video so if I go now on a replication you can see we have two replicate two virtual machine getting replicated and both are uh, status is ok so means uh, these virtual machine is replicated successfully and last replication happened successfully basically you can say Oh, this is saying like uh, the replication so it's uh, replicating from IN VCS01 which is our production to INDR which is our DR site so uh, to recover the virtual machine uh, if you go here you can see the replication so uh, for first thing if I go here and 
uh, on the DR side you need to log in and then if I go to VMs and templates you can see we don't have uh, the virtual machine which uh, we are replicating so by default it's not going to show here in and VM uh, VM tab so you need to go to shortcut and then you need to go to site recovery and when you go to site recovery you will see here two incoming connections because it's coming from the prod to a DR so you got two incoming connection and if I go to replication you will see and incoming you will see both uh, VMs replication so I'm going to click select the first machine and when you are going to click recover it's going to show you the options synchronize the recent changes if you have a current virtual machine in production and you want to have a planned failover basically you want to do a planned failover when you know like uh, there was no outage in on a primary side but you need to have a uh, you want to recover that virtual machine or run that virtual machine on a DR side then you can use this plant and unplanned bench you can see the basically the virtual machine is on uh, basically not available or uh, connectivity is not available then you can use the uh, use the latest available version it, this is not going to uh, sync uh, synchronize the latest update it's going to give you the option restore the virtual machine and you can um, use the snapshot to revert the virtual machines depending on the how many uh, like um, a snapshot you have and the how many um, uh, recovery point you have selected while creating the uh, replication job so if I go here you can see synchronize the recent changes so I am aware like I am going to have a plan failover so I am going to select this perform a synchronize uh, for the last uh, data so I am going to select this and click next when you are going to click next it's going to give you the source virtual machine is currently powered uh, means it's going to try to synchronization but the uh, source machine is powered off uh, power on so it's not going to synchronize so what you need to do you can go here and just shut down this virtual machine and once this machine is shut down then you can retry and it's going to pass and it's going to synchronize so now the virtual machine is powered off you can see I'm going to hit try again click next and here we got the folder where you want to put the virtual machine so I'm going to put in uh, INDR and now it's going to ask you cluster where you want to put the cluster uh, if you want to select the host you can select so I'm going to select the DR cluster and then you got the network device uh, for the recovered virtual machine is going to be disconnected you need to manually attach once the machine is recovered so you can see now it's going to recovering virtual machine is showing here so if I go here on the VMs and templates you can see the virtual machine is here now and if you go on site recovery you can see it's a still recovering virtual machine so it's 90 percent prox completed so now you can see the status of the virtual machine is called recovered and if you see here the machine tab is now showing uh, recovered so basically we don't have any option to fail back this machine again from the DR side to prod side so what you need to do you need to have it manually because you need to create the replication job again to sing to send this machine from uh, DR side to primary side so I am going to remove this just force the replication stop the replication and if you wish to uh, retain the replica data replica disk you can keep it so I am going to just force the replication so it's going to delete the replication here and you got only one virtual machine and now if you see this virtual machine is working fine here So uh, just send control to tell and I'm going to log into this virtual machine now just to make sure everything is good. So first thing you will find the network card is disconnected. So you have to connect the network card. So right click on virtual machine, go to edit setting and then you will see the network card is not showing. So I'm going to browse the correct VLAN. So this is my basically a network for VMNet db port group so i'm going to select it and just click on connect and click ok 
so now you can see the configuration is completed and you can see the virtual machine is also connected so this is good so now just to re, uh, validate the network configuration I'm going on a command prompt and just typing NS lookup and make sure the DNS resolution is working yeah so it's working fine so I'm going to ping my DC 2k12 DC 01 so network is good so I'm able to communicate with the uh, domain controller so the recovery of the virtual machine from the production side to the DR site is completed so this is how you can uh, how to recover virtual machine with the VMware vSphere replication 8.3.0 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to these you can always post to me my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye